everybody to Future Honor Friday in conjunction with Honor Club and RWHWrestling.com. My name is Joe Dabrowski. I'm joined by Jay Rock Daddy here at the commentary booth. Tonight it's all about underdog challenge, Jay Rock. Oh, give it up one time, Joe Dabrowski. I'm fired up tonight for this one. For the participants, let's go to ring announcer Nick Lundo. This tag team contest is an underdog challenge. The winning team will challenge for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship later this evening. Introducing first team number one, making their way to the ring, being accompanied by Miss Jasmine at a combined weight of 387 pounds. Number one, Brian Johnson, the meanest in the game, Justin Pusser, one mean team. What Joe Dombrowski, they may be one mean team, but that is one fine we woman go. in the ring with them. I'll tell you what, J-Rock, you know from your years in the ring, a career you still enjoy success in to this day, it's all about that one opportunity, that one moment to catapult you to the stratosphere. This team could challenge the Briscoe Brothers for the ROH World Tag Team Championships at Masters of the Craft. It's an event you can find right now on Honor Club. You can sign up right after this contest here on Future Honor Friday. This team and the opponents we're about to meet will contest for a chance to change their careers as we send it back to Nick Lundell. And to opponents, at a combined weight of 400 pounds, the team of Davey Vega and Matt Fitchett. These two guys coming out here, they got their Letterman jacket on. They look like a tag team. I like that, Joe Dombrowski. Both of these teams look like teams. Hopefully, they work together like teams. Tag team wrestling is a favorite of mine, and I'm looking forward to both of these guys tonight. I think we're going to see that as Davey Vega and Matt Fitch collectively known as the besties in the world. They've been childhood friends dating back to age five. Fitchett gave away Davey Vega at Davey's wedding. These guys have been inseparable for a number of years. It's almost like a brother relationship. And you know, with brothers and with any kind of relationships as a tag team, it's important even where you're heading and the destination tonight, the Briscoes, as you mentioned, one of these teams are gonna get the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, we are here in Columbus, Ohio. We have a raucous oh, oh, oh. crowd as we're just getting started. That's one mean team, number one, Brian Johnson, and the meanest in the game, Justin Pusser. Oh. We've seen them have success before here at Future of Honor. And I'll tell you what, both of these teams ready tonight, Joe. Absolutely, Vega trips up his opposition Pusser, the double team offense into the senton as Vega and Fitchett start off very fast paced, very explosive, one mean teams. Brian Johnson fighting back, keep in mind, J-Rock, it was in New York City, the Hammerstein, where one mean team defeated Eli Isom and Ryan Nover right here on Future Honor Friday. Could they build off of that momentum? Right now, it's Matt Fitchett, though, with the standing moonsault. They've got the momentum, but in their first time together here in Ring of Honor, look at these kids bringing this house to a standing ovation and the besties in the world. It's not just a mentality, they give a vibe. They exude their passion to professional wrestling and it's infectious amongst all these fans. And you can see these fans almost adopt the besties and notice Pusser just pushed Miss Jasmine in the way of Davey Vega. How unconscionable can oh, you be? Oh, what are you talking about, Joe Dombrowski? He used the assets. Ooh, and she's got some assets. And he easy. used those assets to his advantage. He's supposed to be the tough guy, the mean guy, and he caused a distraction hiding behind a woman. Arms Johnson hit the suicide dive. That was impressive. Joe Dombrowski, who's on top of this match right now? There's a cover. Of one count only, says referee Mike Posey. Hey, we've seen Johnson and Puster have success in the dojos, in the rings, all over Future of Honor. Tonight, they could make their careers. Do they have what it takes to beat the Briscoes, though, J-Rock? I don't know, but this is what I'd like to see. We'll find out about that perhaps later, but look at the aggression from these guys right here. Drop toe hold, nice, and here they come. Double team maneuvers. Pusser, the mask behind the mouth of Johnson, hooks the leg for a near fall. Not enough tag teams, Joe Dombrowski in 2018. Work like well-oiled machines, both of these guys do. Pusser is the last ever student of the late Matt Bourne, and he brings that intensity, he brings that wrestler's wrestler mentality into the ring everywhere he goes. No clowning around tonight, he is out there, born again, if you will. Out here, look, look, working his way up. Vega with a jawbreaker to counter, but Puster quickly into his corner. Here comes Johnson, and he takes out the illegal man Fitchett as well. And sometimes it's a matter of timing, being in the right place. Look at that. 
Right place for Johnson for the first tag, wrong place for them for the second. Duo that grew up on the rough streets of Jamesburg, New Jersey, did everything they could. Oh, he loves this pose, J Rock. <laughs> I do too, Joe. Fantastic. So, will the pose lead to a big opportunity in the underdog challenge near fall? Johnson is so full of himself. Biggest mouth in the room. Never met a married at life. Biggest mouth, perhaps, but also the biggest athletic uh, specimen in this match, simply looking from a physique standpoint. And then here comes his bigger partner. I kind of like the different dynamics between the two partners. He does whatever he wants, as loud as he wants, because he knows he's got Justin Pusser backing him up and the marvelous Miss Jasmine. Joe Dombrowski, who are you talking to? The louder, the better. That's how people pay attention to you. You know what they are? A walking, talking billboard for themselves. Well, hey, they're thick as thieves. They're partners in crime. And you see Davey Vega trying to create something going here. Can he get to his partner, Fitchett? Tag made to Johnson. Fitchett was waiting that time. Learning his lessons. That's important, Joe. And look at the tag now. Here comes Fitchett. Nine-year pro, hybrid style, ready to explode. Hurricane Rod nicely done. And it's a Gurry Connects. The momentum building it up, house of steam here. Oh. Pele kick, Puster to the floor. Right back to the top though, look at him, quick as a cat now. Pitch it. Cross, body beautifully done. Big mistake in my opinion. He should have went for the cover there, Joe Dombrowski, but let's see if he follows up here. The former Greco-Roman state champion and his native Illinois oh. connects with a hard strike. That's it right there. That could be your winner. you need waterfall. And this crowd here thought that could have been it too. Instead, just a close, close call. Vega and Fitchett looking to put their name on the ROH radar overnight. Could be signaling for brain damage. Jasmine tries to cause a diversion. It did, because look in the other corner now. The partner pulls him out. Johnson's got him up and down. Oh, big discus. And then here's the cover. One, two, he's got him. Oh! Great tandem offense, no wasted motion, no wasted time, but Johnson complaining about the count, not gonna get him anywhere. Tell you what though, these kids over here, Fitchett and Vega, they've had their spurts, but Johnson, look at the one mean team continuing to be aggressive and dominant here. Oh, wait a second, J-Rock. This is the combo that won them the match in New York City. Bombs away from Pusser coming, no! Good scouting there to be ahead of that one. Puster yeah. gets crushed. The mat board special doesn't pay off. Oh, Johnson didn't see him. Here comes Fidget. Oh, oh, One swift motion. The besties have an opportunity. They've got him isolated, Joe. Double team maneuver. Brain damage connects. Are they going to make their careers? And indeed. What a victory. Tell you what, you call it a victory, but what do they win? A shot at the Briscoes. Here are your winners and the team that will challenge for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships later this evening, Davey Vega and Matt Fitchett. They can enjoy that victory now, Dombrowski, but they got Mount Rushmore. Couple of mean, angry chicken hunters coming up. The most decorated tag team in ROH history awaits the besties of the world. It's Masters of the Craft from Columbus, Ohio. You can watch it right now on Honor Club. The winners of the Underdog Challenge, Davey Vega, Matt Fitchett, the opportunity of a lifetime. Thank you for joining us on Future of Honor Friday. We'll see you next week. Woo.